Hello all, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome back to CodingScientist.com. You are watching the most exciting series on Autonomous Drone Bot Zero to Hero Special Series. You are going to build, code and fly an autonomous robot which is just right behind me, right? All right guys, so in this lesson, I will show you how to do the basic setup for PixHawk, a very simplified way and an easy way. Now, there are ton loads of documentations on GitHub and you know on the Google about PixHawk and you know if you go to autopilot.org site and you know or, or, or mission planner and uh, there, there are ton loads of uh, resource available guys but what happens is over a period of time you get really lost you know because the information is so massive for the beginners it's really tough to you know uh, you know identify where to start and how to start and kind of thing. So I try to make it as simplified as possible with short videos and short clips and kind of thing. So that makes it more easy. So in this lesson, I'm going to show you a very simple way to set up your PixHawk controller, which is a flight controller, right? In a more simplified and a systematic way. So now let's, let's take a look at it guys. So let me show you what I'm planning to do. So in one of the previous lessons, I showed you how to install the Mission Planner software, right? So we will be using that software uh, very soon. So before we do the calibration and the setup for the PixFog, this is the PixFog which I am holding in my hand. So this is this is how it looks with, with multiple uh, pins here and there are sockets here on the top and, and you know, there is also SD card slot and stuff like that. Go ahead and pick up a simple acrylic plate like this. Okay, so in any any shape, any simple square or or maybe circular or any any kind of shape, a simple acrylic or a cardboard, even a cardboard will do, or even a plastic plate at your home will do. So go ahead and pick up that and stick two stickers like this, two double-sided tape. It's a double-sided tape which I use. Okay, stick like this. Now what you need to do? Let me just peel out this and this is just a temporary fixture guys the PixHawk. we are going to do a proper calibration with the mission planner or software so this is the easiest way instead of fixing everything on the drone first and then do the calibration that's a mess that's a havoc that's going to create a lot of problem unless until you are an expert you know uh, you will lead into multiple uh, issues so this is the simple way to do the calibration and the connection the basic setup initially and then we will move that into the into the drone right so go ahead and stick this kind of uh, take this kind of acrylic plate and stick a, a double sided tape and then the arrow mark can you see the arrow mark here so the arrow mark is the forward direction that is the forward positioning that is where your drone moves where when you press your throttle towards the forward this is the direction it should be that is, that, that is why there is a arrow mark on the pix hawk so stick it like this okay stick it like this this is just a temporary uh, we are going to remove it again stick it like this press it a little hard and then the gps which comes along with your pix hawk kit this is this is the gps uh, module when you buy the PixHawk basic uh, kit which comes with your drone package either F450 or F550 package you buy you know you get the entire PixHawk uh, kit along with the GPS module this is the GPS module and this also comes with a small uh, buzzer like this and this also comes with a switch and couple of other accessories which I will show you in the later lessons for now go ahead and take out this GPS module in your hand and then use the other sticker just peel it out okay and make sure that there is an arrow mark on the gps can you see there is an arrow mark forward direction there is an aeroplane kind of symbol and there is also an arrow mark let me just bring it close to the camera if you can see here there is an arrow mark and there is also aeroplane kind of uh, symbol which is towards forward direction like this so this has to be aligned with your PixHawk, this arrow. It has to be absolutely straight. So let me try to fix it as straight as possible. All right, so there you go. All right. Now, once you fix this, it should be steady. So this is how we are going to calibrate. 
Now what you got to do, we got to wire the GPS. So GPS goes into the GPS. Uh, the good part about Pixhawk is everything is written down here. So there is a GPS slot. So there are two wires. Can you see? There are two different wires in the GPS cable. So the one bus wire is about four different colors. That is uh, red, yellow, green and black. And this will go to your GPS slot here. Can you see it here? It's called the GPS slot. It, it's, it's written, it's clearly written as GPS slot. If you can see it here, I'll just show it very close to the camera. GPS. So this particular pin, this particular pin has to go into your GPS module like this. I'll just try to. It's the other way around. All right, and press it a little hard, not too hard, just with the finger, soft press. And then there is another wire which goes to your I2C. Okay, I2C means what? I showed you in some of the earlier uh, tutorials. It's interconnected between two chips. That is the two different integrated circuits within the Pixhawk. It communicates with each other. Though they are independent, but it will communicate with each other and parallel connection, you can take it, take it as an output. That is why we have so many GPIO pins in Pixhawk. All right, now connect this to the second pin of GPS module has to go to I2C. All right, it's written as I2C. Go ahead and plug it into that. I to C and soft press should be sufficient enough. All right, now your GPS is connected. You have successfully connected your GPS module. Now what we need to do, we need to connect this buzzer. Guys, this is very important for the initial setup of Pixhawk, the buzzer and the switch and the GPS. These are three mandatory items for the initial setup before even you connect your Pixhawk to Mission Planner to your laptop. Make sure that do not do that mistake. Just connect these three and then only you are supposed to connect your Pixhawk to the Mission Planner software. Now I am going to connect the buzzer. There is a buzzer pin here. Can you see it? All right, it's here. If you can see it here, it's written as buzzer. Right here, the first one on the top, buzzer. So go ahead and fix your buzzer like this. Just insert these two wires. All right, now buzzer is in. Now let's go to the switch okay so this is the switch which comes along with the package this is also got a rgb led i believe so once we switch it on we will know about that so this switch slot has to go in here can you see just below the buzzer or uh, in the middle in the middle position it's written as switch the good part is it's all written on the slot itself it's written as switch so go ahead and plug your switch into the port. All right. Perfect. Now that we have our basic setup ready with the buzzer, with the GPS, with the Pixhawk module, and the switch and make sure that you have your usb ready with you right we are not going to connect it now uh, just go ahead and keep these things ready guys so the basic objective of creating such short videos is to make sure that you know i want to make sure that you know all the beginners who are doing this for the first time get a very clear understanding in terms of what exactly you are doing right so that's why i take little baby steps so it, it's very important that's why the series is called zero to hero right 
Now, uh, in the next lesson, guys, what I'm going to show is uh, I th there is a video actually uh, by a gentleman by name uh, Painless360. He's he's very popular in in, in the European uh, region. He is an expert in drones, especially on the Pixhawk and autonomous drones and stuff like that. He is a master. He has created a very beautiful video in terms of how to calibrate this particular setup, what we did just now, right? Uh, for example, this one, how we are going to connect it and calibrate. Instead of me making the video, I am thinking of playing that video along with what I am doing side by side on the desk so that it makes very easy for you to understand, right? So you watch that video on my screen what I'm showing here and I'm also going to build side by side so that what's what's going to happen is that this advantage one there's an expert level guy from UK who's going to show you how to calibrate on the other hand I'm sitting physically in front of you guys with Pixhawk and I'm doing stuffs you know what, what what's supposed to be done right so that gives a absolute clarity in terms of how to do the calibration and stuff like that and it's going to be really really easy guys and it's going to be interesting so go ahead and keep this setup ready and in the next video we will start from the scratch again connecting our this basic setup into the mission planner and do some calibration all right guys see you bye bye